For almost seven years, Jacqueline and I talked about, dreamed, and saved for the opportunity to go hunting in Africa. Rewind back to January of 2016, my dad and I drove down to Las Vegas and attended the Safari Club International Show where we began our search for an outfitter. After talking to what had to have been over a hundred different outfitters, we stumbled across Andrew Pringle with Crusader Safaris. Besides meeting all of our other criteria, our number one selling point with Crusader Safaris was the fact that they hunted 100% free ranging and fair chase animals, meaning no high fences. After talking to a couple different referrals, we sent them a deposit, securing our dates for the last week of June, first week of July, 2018. It was hard to believe, but we were finally going to Africa. Africa, here we come. Hey, where are we at? South Africa, we made it. Woo we're in Johannesburg Airport. We had flew from Salt Lake to Seattle, Seattle to Dubai, and Dubai to Johannesburg. We've got one more flight, it's only about an hour, and over to Durban, and we'll be in camp this afternoon. Our first area was the Umkumas camp where we would be hunting Niala, Bushbuck, and Kudu. Once we settled into camp, we shot the rifles to make sure they were still shooting straight, had a great dinner, relaxed around the fire, and then retired to bed full of anticipation to start hunting come morning. Day one came and went with lots of time behind the glass and lots of animals seen. Right at last light, we located this stud of a bush buck and quickly got into position. Unfortunately, just as dad flipped the safety off, the bush buck slipped into the heavy cover. Other than a nice bushbuck ram giving us the slip, the morning of day two is rather uneventful. For several months leading up to us leaving, Jacqueline and my mom collected donated school supplies to take to a local school. We had the opportunity after the morning hunt to deliver two suitcases full of school supplies and several hundred pounds of meat to this local school. 
the kids sang and danced for us, and Jacqueline was even able to teach an art lesson. After we left the school, we ate a quick lunch and headed back out in search of a big Niala bull for dad. We located this bull early on in the evening and made a quick play, but he gave us the slip into the thick cover. As luck would have it, about a half an hour later, we located another big bull. It was game on. It is the night of day two. The sun is setting. Dad hit a Niala about a half hour ago. We got over here to where we found first blood. And we've been looking for maybe 20 minutes. We just heard our pH say he got it. Dad killed his Niala. Hey, give me a thumbs up. Well, on our third morning here in the Umkumas camp, uh, we were walking out to the truck after breakfast and Andrew ran me down and made me a great offer on a Niala bull just in case we were to see see a big one and uh, didn't think a whole lot about it. I mean it took us two days to to find a good bull for my dad and and so I thanked him for the offer but really didn't think a whole lot about it and we took off out here at camp we were just just outside of camp and went up a steep hill and we got just to where we could start seeing some some bare ridges and uh, proud our tracker tapped on the, the top of the truck and and Paul got out and they looked across and then Paul got excited and he said big knee all of day three here in South Africa. Uh, we're headed to the Stormberg Mountains this afternoon. We were just gonna hunt this morning and I can't believe it, but I just shot a Niala bull. <laughs> I wasn't even planning on it, but it's a monster. And I'm just ecstatic. About a 220 yard shot. Shot it, it dove into the trees. We weren't 
positive about the shot, but Proud came over and he found it in one or two minutes. It can't have gone very far, so oh, I'm still shaking. <laughs> I can't believe it. The sun's barely even coming up. Absolutely incredible. Let's go recover this bull. Shortly after we had my Niala loaded up, we located another nice bush buck and made oh, a plan man. to get into position. We quietly slipped into 240 yards from the bush buck and got dad all set up. It was now just a waiting game for the big ram to step out where dad could get a clear shot. We had been sitting waiting for maybe 15 minutes when Paul happened to look to our right when this true giant of a bush buck emerged out of a thicket only 200 yards away. That is huge. <laughs> that thing is huge. Yeah. Get out, Dad. That is, dude, that is big. Yeah. Big boy. That is like big, big. That's as big as the one from the first night, if not bigger. Yeah, that's an absolute thing. Oh. A 30 inch Niala and a 16 inch bushbuck made for a morning that none of us will soon forget. Once we got back to camp, we ate a quick lunch, loaded up the truck, and began our eight hour drive south to the Stormberg camp where we would be hunting the giant Cape Eland. 